Just imagine that you set up a business and six years later you get fired from the very business you set up. That's my story. I love when money isn't discussed. Run, run, run. Cool, thanks. I don't, I'm not a fan. We just got locked in a meeting room. Done, I'm done. We're gonna go and be like Santa. Welcome to Monday, the 16th of October, 2023. <laughs> it's a good day today. So let me get this straight. You started a company and then you got fired by that same company. Yep, that's exactly what happened. And in this video, I'm gonna do the craziest thing of all and I'm gonna introduce you to two people. Person one is the guy who actually fired me and the second guy who replaced me and is now the CEO of WOW. WOW does one thing and it does it very, very well. WOW builds personal brands for founders and CEOs. As CEO of that business, I had the pleasure of working with James Kahn from Dragon's Den, with Tej Alvani from Dragon's Den, with Craig Fenton, who like is the MD of Google. That business was the best thing that ever happened to my career ever. So why did I get fired? Those are the questions du jour. Le, those are la question du jour. The question, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, that's cringe. I'm gonna not speak in French. Those are the questions of the day and I will answer them, but not just yet. So before people get here in around 20 minutes at 8.30, I need to have emailed uh, six or so people that I'm hosting for the day and taking for lunch. I need to write a post on the same thing that I did last Monday and post it on LinkedIn. And I need to finish getting my emails to zero, which is nearly done. So it's 9.16 a.m. We've had people start arriving now for the co-working day that I'm hosting, which is awesome. So it just dawned on me. I haven't explained to you why I'm doing this whole co-working thing. In short, I love when money isn't discussed. I love when it's just what happens when you throw a bunch of creative, cool, ambitious, and genuine humans in a room together with no expectations. And rather than sitting around and waiting for somebody else to do it, I thought, you know what, I'll do it. Enter co-working. And basically, invited a bunch of people with no expectations, just a really nice space for people to get together, work on their problems with each other, and just meet new people. Right, so I've got a call with Sabu now about my YouTube channel. We are about to agree on the deliverables. Sabu, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. It is 11 a.m. on the dot. I now have a meeting with Nicole. Nicole, you may recognize from the last video, she is helping zero to one, in other words, set up. Wow, it's Nicole! <laughs> no way! Um, Nicole is helping zero to one this entire new division, business, uh, called Workshops by WOW. But now we've recognized a problem. We thought that we were offering people the main course, but actually we might have been offering them the starter, or maybe even the canapes in the reception area before you usher people into the main room for the four course meal. We are now seeing these workshops as a two part piece, and we are creating the second part of these workshops today. And then we're gonna decide on strategy for launching this as a paid service. Right, here's what we've got here. Workshops by WOW. 20 minutes later. Now we need to constantly come back to the one main question, which is as follows. How do we deliver 50 world-class workshops in one month? We've got the product, we know what we're building, and then we've got all the other bits, right? We don't want to turn over 15 grand in month one. We want to turn over 150 grand in month one. In order to do that, we need to look at the delivery, ask ourselves this question, start with the strategy of what needs to be done, then start with the structure, then start with the detail. So the strategy here is build for 50, not five. I'm simplifying the structure is basically all of this. Then finally, the people. The real people functions here are this, right? We need somebody to create the program. So one, create the program and two, run the program. And that links for this as well, how to build your personal brand. We've just had a pretty wonderful session, yeah? And now we are going to do the whole day thing that I mentioned, which is hosting people, and we're taking everyone for lunch now. Yes, we are. Do fancy lunch? Yes. Um, Nicole, thoughts, feelings? I feel very good. Right, we are in Soho, on our way to lunch. So what, what would be the, the pitch for your YouTube channel? The pitch for my YouTube channel would be like the, the authentic side of like building a business, like the things that go wrong 
the things that I can't understand and then you'll see the journey of me being able to understand it. Nice. Let me tell you what I've done wrong yeah. so that you don't make the same mistake. Nice, I love it. Going to Ketnam. Wait, that's it. Ah, nice! Punch was lovely. Go on, so talk to me. Give us the intro. I'm Marcus Austin, filmmaker, slash art director, creative, all the type of stuff basically. I was trying to be a fearless dreamer, so yeah. How have you found today so far? Today is nice, man. I feel like just being in rooms with creatives, I didn't create yourself, but differently. Always nice to know that we're all kind of in the same boat. And like, we're not all just like struggling for ourselves. And we're all in it together. So yeah, I like that a lot. Fucking love it. And now we're co-working. Yes. My friend Joe has a sweets company. The sweets company is called Tasty Mates. And I said to him, when you send me some stuff? And he said, yes. Nice. Amazing. All right, let's open this up. Beautiful. It's beautiful. a lot of flavor. Soda caramel. Soda caramel. Yes, okay. in. Can right. I grab a couple of these? I'm going to grab all of them. Quick, as many as you can. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Let's go. 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 We're going to go and be like Santa. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Right, here we go. Thank you very much, team of fans. And so, early this morning, I said that I was fired as a CEO of my company. And I said that I was going to introduce you to two people today. Person one is the guy who fired me. Me. I had to do it, it wasn't fun, but essentially I was no longer the man for the job. I could take the business from zero to one, but I recognized in myself I wasn't the guy to take it from one to 10. Which brings in the next person I said that I'd introduce you to is person two. Mr. Freddie Paxson, come on, come here on. we go. How was life as CEO of WOW? I sympathize with you more now, uh huh, because uh, it's tough to run a business, but great, everything's going really well. Love you it, man. Chose the right man. Chose the right man. Honestly, I don't even know where I am right now. My brain is so fried. This is what happens when I get really tired. The muscles in my face stop moving. So whilst I'm actually smiling right now, you can't see it. Anyway, we've got the brand guidelines in. Let's have a look. So th th this is like V1, right? We're just having a having a look. We've got Joe. Wow, that looks quite pretty. But I think this has to be the right shade of blue. And it's not. Nicole, how are you? <laughs> Oh my god, I just got locked in a meeting room. What? Did you see my email? No, you're like, oh, oh my god, <laughs> urgent, please help. I'm stuck in a phone booth. So, this is the first thing I've got back in terms of what brand joke can look like visually. Yeah. Quick thoughts in no time. It's definitely different to wow, but I think something that's just a bit more like. Mm. Okay, cool, thanks. I don't, I'm not a fan. This is okay, but we need, we need bold. We need. When you kind of Gary Vee in your face caps lock. The vlog is done, I'm done, I'm done. No more for today. It's 6.20 p.m. If you've managed to get to the end of this video, then welcome, welcome, welcome. Please make sure you comment below to introduce yourself. Until next time.